In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the Democritus Atomic Theory. The idea about the presence of atom in a matter was given by Democritus. It was a, he was a Greek philosopher who laid the foundation of a presence of a matter in a matter, present of an atom in a matter. However, after that, different types of atomic models were proposed about the structure of atom. These models started from Democritus atomic theory to latest quantum mechanical theory about the structure of atom. So now, dear student, let us discuss about the Democritus atomic theory. Democritus was a Greek philosopher who proposed Democritus atomic theory and the basis of his philosophical ideas. The theory of Democritus is known as theory of atomism. According to Democritus, dear student, the matter or the word is made up of a matter. And a matter consists of tiny individual particles, and these particles are known as atomus. Atomus is a Greek word which means undivisible or uncuttable. Later on, this word atomus is converted into a word atom. So initially, dear student, Democritus gave his philosophy that word is made up of a matter. Matter is anything which occupy a space and have a mass. He proposed that word is made up of a matter. And matter consists of tiny individual particles and these particles are known as atoms. Whenever you have anything and if you divide that thing into small, small and small pieces and at the end, if you get a one piece which is not divisible, rather Democritus said that that smaller piece which is impossible to be divided or uncuttable, uncutted, that is known as an atom. So, word is basically made up of a matter, and matter consists of that undivisible tiny particle which is known as an atom. According to Democritus, there are infinite number of atoms, and all atoms are same and made up of same stuff. So, this means that, according to Democritus theory, anything is made up of same atoms. And the number of atoms is infinite. So, there is only one type of atom exists in a world. And these atoms basically are same and they combine in a different way. On the basis of that, they form a same stuff. Now, dear student, atoms are made up of same material. However, the only difference in atom is a difference in the shape and size. So, according to Democritus, whatever you see in a, diff in a word having a different shapes, that is because of a difference in a shape of an atom. These atoms, are, uh, every atom is made of the same material, but their shape and size is different. So, they combine and due to this, they form a different material with a different shape. So, the material with which 
the uh, the material is basically uh, is made up of a same atom these atoms have a different shapes and sizes due to this we basically see a shape or a volume of the material in a different way according to democritus some atom have hooks and some have holes and these hooks and holes get attached and due to this we can see a visible microscopic object so whatever we see with a naked eyes or with a microscopic eyes is due to same atoms however every atoms have a tight hook and holes and these holes basically combined they basically have a different shapes and sizes and due to this they when combined they form a macroscopic object since the shape of atom and the size of atom is different and they have a hook and hole and the hook and hole combines in a different way and due to this we can see a macroscopic object with the naked eyes but having a different shapes different size and orientations so now what do you think dear student how is the word mad how word came into being democritus gave the idea about the formation of word that how word formed by a same atoms having a different shapes and sizes and they have a date hooks and holes with them. According to Democritus, word, emer word emerged from the vortex of atoms. Which means that bunch of atoms combine and they form a grape. So this means that word is which is in a present in a form of matter is emerged due to a bunch or infinite number of atoms. These atoms combine in a different ways and they form a vortex. And on the basis of that word is formed. The atoms of as you know that they have atoms have hooks and holes and these hook and holes basically combine or entangled due to pushing bouncing and sticking of atoms and due to the pushing bouncing and sticking of atom the atom or the matter get denser over and become heavier over the period of time the heavier atom are congregated at the center whereas the lighter atoms are congregated at the parameters near the birth of matter so if i conclude according to democritus that how word came into being democritus said that word consist of a great vortex and the great vortex is formed due to combination of different atoms and these atoms are infinite in number since you know that atoms have hooks and holes and these hooks and holes combine in a different ways they combine in a form of pushing bouncing and sticking which cause the formation of a denser matter and this basically continues and we basically get a heavier atom congregated at the center and the lighter atom congregated at the perimeter which basically give the birth of a matter earth so now on the basis of theory of formation of word democritus proposed the theory 
of multiverse, which basically means the formation of a multiple world due to combination of an atom in a different way. The multiverse, the theory of multiverse proposed by Dalton states that the atoms move and attach in a different phase from a form a different and big vortices. They basically the formation of different and big vortices lead to the another world, perhaps a countless different world. Initially, Dalton gave the idea about a word that word is made up of a vortex great vortex and that great vortex consists of infinite number of atoms when combined in a in a different ways get denser at the center and lighter at the parameter give the birth of a planet earth however after that dalton democritus proposed that atoms can be basically <clears throat> attach in a different ways and the size and shape is different so they can form a different types of big vortex vortices and which may lead to formation of countless birds the formation of countless words is basically is based on an idea which is known as multiverse theory which basically depends on the attachment of an atom in a different base so if I conclude the multiverse theory of Democritus multiverse theory of Democritus says that the atom have <clears throat> different size and shapes and they have a different types of attachment. So the attachment of an atom in a different ways may arise or may cause the formation of a different types of big bodies. And these better six may form or may lead the foundation of another world, which are basically or this may lead to the formation of countless different words so this is idea is known as multi theory so this was all about the democritus theory of adam we said that matter is made up of tiny individual particles and these particles are known as atoms atoms have different shapes and different sizes and they have hooks and holes with them so some atoms have hooks and some atoms have holes and whenever these hooks and holes Due to stick together or entangle due to pushing, pulling, or by any ways, they get denser and they lead to the foundation of a planet Earth. Since, according to Democritus, the size and shape of atom is different, which may lead to the formation of different worlds. And the theory of Democritus, such theory of Democritus is known as multiverse theory so dear student this is all about democritus theory of atom thank you for watching this lecture